hello everyone so today i'm going to represent my simulation on power generation system using supercritical carbon dioxide cycle so here we have the functional diagram here we have the mathematical model and next we have the block diagram the functional diagram consists of for the in system inputs which where sm stands for surge merge where apu stands for auxiliary power unit and n stands for speed this is the controller where it will be taking all the input data and it will be controlling as per the requirement next we have we can see the mathematical data this way we have just done the mathematical modeling of the project so next we have the mathematical model where uh, we have the power unit and the phi values this phi values will be given directly from the sensors so coming to the block diagram here we have the majorly the compressors dump turbine apu and the combustor chamber which is given by the combustion heat the upper reservoir upper reservoir will be going to the compressor and then it will be feeding to the turbine and then it will be going to the auxiliary power unit so here we can see the compressor uh, parameters these are the parameters which has to be fulfilled by the sensors these are the parameters required and the variables this is the mass flow rate we are doing graph at a as per the ideal condition so next we have same with regarding to turbine turbine this turbine will be with this this should be fed by compressor we can see the parameters these are the parameters we have to give by using the sensors and we again we have the variable same next we have the apu which stands for auxiliary power unit here it will be having of different different data like flow rate data and uh, uh, flow rate data is corrected area and then efficiency data and corrected values so we have done this all with respect to isotherm isothermic uh, isothermic ratio isothermic ratio stands for an ideal condition so next we have the combustion chamber here we can give the pipeline cross sectional area and hydraulics because this will be varying and it will be affecting the system so here we can also give the frictional heat and transfer values like aggregate equivalent lengths and then internal surface areas and very many other variables like pressure gas volume temperature gas volume and density gas of the gas so next uh, we can see that we have the combustion heater which will be given to the combustor and this combustor will what it will do it will compress the gas and it will be sent to the compressor this compressor will heat the turbine it will start to rotate and this will be sent to the apu units where the auxiliary power units will convert the energy so first we'll go for the graphs first we have the signal input graphs so here we can see the signal input graph uh, so we have the synchronous uh, surge merge uh, graphs with respect to time then we have auxiliary power unit graph with respect to time and then we have the speed with respect to time which this is are the input data is given to the britain this uh, project next we have the uh, where next we have a graph regarding temperature and specific enthalpy range ratio where we can see a uh, a green color area this area is known as the operating areas and this uh, this areas if you operate in this areas then there is a chance of uh, of uh, damaging of the turbine or the compressor so coming to the next we have the compression map this red red line this red line will shows the uh, surge line where this this are uh, in this area it may it may again cause damage to the to the compressors so to operate the operate the compressor we should always go with the values with the green lines we as shown in the figure and uh, we can the isothermic get different efficiencies and next we have this uh, blue color line which is known as the corrected speed lines and next we have uh, the turbine map this turbine map consists of uh, isothermic efficiency versus pressure ratio and corrected mass flow rate with pressure ratio as we can see in the starting we have the uh, pressure uh, when, when the when the uh, pressure ratio is uh, less the efficiency is less but at, when it reaches the peak then at, at again it start to decrease this is the corrected mass factor we can see the screen line this is the correct value and the operating line where we should operate in the ideal condition next we have with respect to apu apu map which is done with respect to isothermic efficiency and the pressure ratio 
and pressurization corrected mass so again we have this green color line which is known as the operating line and this apu unit apu map is again same like turbine map which shows uh, with starting starting it will be having the pressure ratio is less as as the pressure ratio increases then automatically it will reach to a peak and then when it try to increase then it tries to drop so this is it and thanks for watching this video thank you